Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hi, hello -y. my name is Loey. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I always love to bring you whatever spooky stuff I can find across the internet. And for years now, I've been very into like the scary and paranormal side of TikTok. Which is why I'm absolutely shocked that this is the first time that I'm hearing of time travel TikTok. I stumbled across a video on time travel TikTok that actually Moist Critical made, who's like one of my favorite YouTubers, but who would have guessed that those two worlds would have collided? Charlie made his video on TikTok time travelers like a month ago, and it sent me down a rabbit hole. So today I thought we could talk about them and take a look at what is going on on this side of the internet. But before we do, I want to say a big thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Beam. Y'all are always asking me how the hell I go to sleep at night after talking about ghosts and scary stuff and mysteries all day, every day. And to be honest, I've always been someone who's really, really struggled with my sleep. I struggle to keep a sleep routine. But recently, thanks to Beam Dream Powder, I've actually been getting really good sleep. Some of the best sleep of my life. Don't mind her if she looks a little dirty. I use her a lot. Beam Dream Powder is like a healthy hot cocoa that can help you get some really good sleep. There are so many different flavors and kinds of Beam Dream Powder, but I personally am very into the cinnamon cocoa. It's also really easy to enjoy. All you have to do is put like a scoop or two into a mug along with some hot water or hot milk if that's what you're into, and you blend it together and you've got a perfect cozy drink that will also help you get to sleep. I drink mine like 30 to 45 minutes before I want to go to bed. And I've really noticed a difference in how fast I fall asleep and how good my sleep ends up being. Now, the first time I ever tried Beam Dream Powder, I tried the chocolate peanut butter flavor and I like this one too. I feel like I've been using this one more and Beam has tons of different flavors to choose from. But anyway, I tried this one. It was super tasty and I was out like a light. I've never fallen asleep that quickly in my entire life. Beam also gives you a 20% discount when you subscribe and save. So if you want to check out Beam today, you can use my link down below and you can also use code Loie Lane for an additional 15% off of your purchase plus a free whisk to mix together your Beam Dream Powder every single night. Once again, you can use my link down below and code Loie Lane for 15% off of your purchase plus a free whisk. Thank you so much to Beam for sponsoring today's video. And now let's chat about the TikToks. The TikToker mentioned in Moist Critical's video was Radiant Time Traveler. So you know I had to start there. But I truly think that most of these accounts are pretty much the same. They all claim to be time travelers from like 20 to 30 years in the future who have come back in time to warn us about the future to come. And typically they focus their predictions on the current month or the following month. So Radiant Time Traveler in his TikTok about like what was supposed to come in September kicks the whole thing off by saying that on September 4th, 2023, the first ever Category 6 hurricane would hit the southeastern United States. Charlie's video was all about how there was a really bad hurricane around this time, but of course a Category 6 does not exist, like that's not a category of hurricane that we have and it was nowhere near like the worst hurricane of all time. Another claim was that on September 10th, 20 people are chosen to see the afterlife, to know what it is like when you pass. This makes the entire population focus on finding a way to live much longer as less than 5% are happy after. So 20 people are chosen to see the afterlife and 5% of them, less than 5% of them are happy after. That would mean that less than one person was happy. Like, what does that look like? <laughs> what do those press statements sound like? Everyone else involved in the study is like, man, that really sucks. Like, I never want to go through that again. I'm going to live as long as I can. And this one guy comes out and he's like, it wasn't that bad, I guess. Also, apparently on September 18th, an invisible wall was supposed to be put down to surround Mexico and Guatemala. It was put there by a hostile alien species to try to weaken us while they attack. Then September 23rd, a Spirit Airlines plane crashes in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. It actually went through a wormhole where it is two seconds to them, six years to us. They return in 2029. Now, obviously we're pretty deep into the month of October 
and none of that stuff ever happened in September, okay? But that doesn't necessarily mean that this guy's a fraud. A couple of wrong predictions does not a phony make. So let's see if he got anything about October right. Attention, yes, I am a real time traveler. These are the major events to come in October 2023. October is considered one of the most impactful months in history due to many of these events. An alien ship on October 3rd falls to Earth during a large meteor shower containing a hostile species. This alien escapes the pod as soon as it lands and begins to wreak havoc on large cities. October 7th, the James Webb Telescope sees a giant space creature eating stars. It will come to our solar system and eat the sun next, and it could eliminate all life near it. October 15th, a human-like species is discovered inside of Mount Everest with an entire civilization. They have telepathic abilities and want to control humans. They'll do anything for power. And then on October 29th, a very powerful solar flare hits Earth, causing a global power outage. No machines work, and it turns into the purge for weeks. Crime increases 12 thousand percent is very hard to get under control. Okay, the only of those dates not yet to pass is October 29th, so I guess be on the lookout that day for some weird sun activity. Some of this stuff is so interesting too, like this telescope that sees a giant space creature eating stars. Like, why are you predicting the future, which you know will not happen because you're not a time traveler? And you know that the minute that these things don't happen, you lose all credibility that you have. Like, why are you doing this and not writing a book about that? Like, that's a really interesting concept. And not to rag on this person, but they can't even keep their predictions dates straight. Um, off on one video that's like, here's the worst to come for the rest of 2023. The star eating monster is listed as occurring on October 3rd instead of October 7th. The lighting's getting a little harsh in here, so I'm gonna let the sun set a bit and I'll be back. Okay, that's better. People claiming to be time travelers on the internet is not a new concept. People have been claiming to be time travelers online from Reddit to TikTok to Twitter, and actually well before there was even a widespread form of social media, one person in particular started a bit of an internet frenzy when he came forward to say that he was a time traveler. That person was John Teeter, who went by the name Time Travel Under score zero in online forums from the year 2000 to 2001. Teeter claimed to be from the year 2036, where he was working as part of a government time travel program. He had been sent back to the year 1975 to retrieve an IBM 5100 computer, which interestingly enough was one of kind of like the first ever portable computers. At the time, this was a pretty advanced piece of equipment, but even in the year 2000, there were so many more advanced personal computers by then, you might be wondering like, why did this time traveler supposedly need to go back to go pick up an old computer? This is where it gets sort of complicated, right? But I think that this story is so interesting because like I said, while we have TikTok time travelers now just telling you there is gonna be a category six hurricane and it's gonna be real bad. And then of course the day comes and goes and there's no crazy hurricane. Yeah, people used to make up the most elaborate stuff you've ever heard in your life. John Teeter claims that the IBM 5100 is the only hope that humanity has of debugging some of the computer program problems that pop up in the year 2036. And John Teeter's grandfather supposedly worked in assembling and programming these old computers, you know, back in the 70s. John Teeter travels back to 1975 and then he makes a pit stop in the year 2000 for personal reasons. And this is where he decides to get on these forums and start telling people about what's gonna happen in the future. Fun fact, just cause I think it's really interesting. One of the reasons I think that people believed John Teeter about going back in time to get this computer to like rescue the computer computers of 2036, which just sounds crazy on paper, right? I think one of the reasons that people believed him was because of the Unix 2038 problem. Remember that at this time we're in the year 2000, so we're fresh off the heels of Y2K when everybody thought their personal computer was gonna blow up because the millennium changed over to 2000 instead of 1999, and cash registers would go down, and the infrastructure of the United States would crumble, and it would all just be a big mess, and none of that happened. 
happen, so people might be thinking, well, something's surely gonna come and go wrong, right? Enter the Unix 2038 Superbug or the Y2K38 Superbug. This is like a time formatting bug with anything that uses the Unix time measurement system, which I think is like most computers and phones and stuff like that, that will apparently become a problem in January of 2038. Apparently this data is not made to like go past that date and the numbers get corrupted, making whatever piece of technology that has this bug think that after the year 2038, it's actually 1901. So I think knowledge of that, especially after the Y2K craze when like nothing happened, was why people kind of latched onto this and believed him. John Teeter also like weirdly knew things about the IBM 5100, like specs of the computer that were like never released to the public, features that it had that had never been released, but I guess were true. Anyway, John Teeter claimed that he had a time travel device that was fit into a 1967 Corvette, like Back to the Future style. He made absolutely insane claims about what was to happen in the future, such as civil wars, the general downfall of the United States government, and the Olympics, the final Olympics occurring in 2004, which, spoiler alert, did not happen. Then one day John Teeter disappears and he's never even around to see that none of his predictions came true. Back then it was John Teeter. Today it is Radiant Time Traveler. And also we have videos like this one from official MJC Matthew, who talked about what a time traveler has predicted is to come in 2024. And who is this time traveler that's mentioned? Who is this source? We don't know, but we have to believe it because they're clearly a time traveler. How else would they know about all of this stuff that won't happen? Then I found this series of really, um, interesting videos from a TikTok account called Apex TV Official who captioned this first one. We recently received an email containing this video of a man named Adam Archon who claims to be from the year 2045. Adam claims in this first TikTok that his only hope is to prove that time travel is happening all around us, that it has been happening our whole lives, that it'll happen into the future. He also claims that time travel became possible in 1981, but was not like public knowledge until the year 2028. As proof, as like a little treat for the general public, Adam says that he wants to prove to us that he is a time traveler by giving us proof that will come in our future. So I thought together we could watch these just to see exactly what Adam's predictions are. You will see that my predictions are not only true, but you can come back to this video and know that time travel really does exist. In early 2019, there will be a worldwide rise in UFO sightings. In 2020, there will be a robot released to the public that causes a lot of controversy. In August of 2028, the existence of aliens is revealed to the public. I cannot say where they're from, but it is not from space. In February of 2029, there is an implanted chip known as the One that lets people pay, expand their brain functions, and stay healthy. This will go in your right hand. In the early 2030s, all countries begin converging into One. There are seven world districts and 10 leaders that follow the commands of an artificial intelligence. Now, all of the claims in these TikToks are pretty intense, especially the ones from years that have like long come and gone. The last formal president of the United States is Yolanda King. She's the best president the United States has ever seen. There is a single digital currency used by the entire world. As we go on, our future looks crazier by the minute, so honestly, I cannot blame this man for coming back in time. Like, somehow 2023 seems pretty chill. In 2045, the year I'm from, the convergence of humans and computers is taking place. I promise to you that these events will happen with 100% certainty. I know many of you will not believe me, but I am simply telling you the truth. Do what you want with these facts, but time travel is real, and I am a time traveler. Thank you 
for listening to me. You get it at this point, right? Videos like this exist in the hundreds of thousands and millions on TikTok, predicting natural disasters, alien encounters, and just general tomfoolery that is to come in our future. I was so deep into time travel TikTok at this point, begging for a crumb, a morsel of something that could seem real. Then I stumbled across a TikTok account that belongs to these two guys with a podcast called The LSD Experience. And they talked about the most convincing time traveler of all time. Their videos on it are really interesting, but let me just tell you this story. It all starts off with this guy named Sergei Ponomarenko. Back in 2006, Sergei quite literally appears out of thin air, wearing old timey clothes and carrying what looks like an even older camera. Sergei tells law enforcement that he was just walking down the street with his girlfriend one night, they're just taking a little walk, and suddenly he sees this bright flash of light. Then he found himself right there in the year 2006. The cops are kind of like, okay, proof? Like, what What are you even saying, right? This all takes place in the city Kiev. So Sergei gives them the Soviet documents that he has that are dated back to the 1950s. This document is pretty convincing to law enforcement because the name matches up. The photo looks like this guy, but it says that he was 25 in like the 1950s and here he is standing in front of them right now and he's still 25, so this doesn't add up. So law enforcement in Kyiv, they press him more. They're like, what else can you give us? And he says, let's check the film. Let's develop the film on my camera. So I wanna emphasize how strange this is. This man has a camera from the 1950s, an old camera. These don't have like viewfinders. You can't digitally check any of the photos. These are taken on film, then they have to be developed, and then you can see the photos. The cops develop this film and it shows the city of Kyiv in the 1950s. And Sergei is in these images. In one of them, Sergei could be seen with a woman who he told police was his girlfriend. So they look this woman up, they track her down. She's 70 years old in the year 2006 when all of this is going down. And I kid you not, she says that she had a boyfriend whose name matched Sergei's who went missing when he claimed to have just disappeared out of his own timeline and jumped into the future. However, two years after he disappears, his girlfriend gets a postcard in the mail. It's a picture of Sergei in front of a city with these tall skyscrapers, what he claims to be Kiev in the year 2050. After that, she never heard from him again, and she was shocked to see police officers at her door wanting to know more about him. The cops have no idea what is going on at this point. They're like, this is the craziest thing we've ever heard in our lives. Like, Sergey, we need to sit down, actually. Can you just sit still? They ask Sergey to stay at a hotel that they'll provide him while they try to figure this out. Because again, like, if Sergey's telling the truth, he's just jumped forward in time and has nowhere to go, nowhere to stay. Like, nothing. He is nothing. Sergey is fine with this. So one day, after they had gone through a round of questioning himself and the police, he makes his way back to the hotel. And there's security footage of him walking into the hotel, but he is never seen walking back out. The man vanished. Literally, someone came to check on him later and he was gone. Like he had never been there to begin with. Officers and hotel staff alike reviewed every single security camera that they could and there is just nothing. And that's the most convincing time traveler story that I've ever heard of, for sure. I really wanna know what you all think of this one. Do you believe in time travelers after all of this? Do you think that somebody on TikTok is telling the truth? Or do you think that time travel TikTok is a whole bunch of baloney? You let me know down below because I think personally. There are stories like Sergey's that I just told you that have so many coincidences and twists and turns that I'm kind of like, Hmm, maybe that could be real, but I gotta be honest, nothing so far from Time Traveler TikTok has convinced me that we have another Time Traveler 
on our hands. But if you guys want a follow-up video on this, I can check back in maybe in the new year and see what is to come for 2024. For now, that's gonna be it from me today, you guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. A big thank you to my subscribers who are members of this channel. If you wanna join the channel memberships and get extra members exclusive content, including members only videos and other cool perks, you can click that little join button somewhere around the screen we would love to have you. A special thank you to my VIP loves for their generous support of the channel. I love and appreciate you very, very much. I love you all very much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!